The cruise to Somerset, Kentucky was a leisurely three-hour run, and Interstate 75 was jammed with hot rods and muscle cars of every color and style imaginable. Cars were already lined up when we arrived in Somerset. Everybody is uh, lined up waiting for the opening the gates down there to go downtown Somerset for the cruise. I don't think they open them up till 2 o'clock, so. When the gates opened, the cars began to flood into the historic town square in Somerset. So we made it all the way down to the Summer Nights Cruise here in Somerset, Kentucky. And where's Somerset, Kentucky? Well, it's a little tiny town, kind of remote, but who would have thought that they could pack a crowd like this? I mean, literally, this is about... 25 minutes into the event, it just started. And this is one street of many that are just jammed with every kind of car imaginable. It's really impressive. It, never mind the fact that it's very hot, and yes, it is raining right now, and they still got this kind of turnout, which means all these cars are driven, rain or shine, they're real cars and they're here. This sample right here, you know, you're looking at a Studebaker Lark with magnesium wheels and a mini tub job. You got a, uh, that looks to be like another Stude pickup truck right there, next to a, a Chevy wagon. A uh, 50 Chevy there, a 60s Oldsmobile muscle car. I mean, whatever you want, it's here, it's everywhere. It, this is really an impressive deal. You should go. Next year, you should be parked right there. We'll look for you. So here we are in downtown Somerset, Kentucky on the Summer Nights Cruise. We just invaded this town, and we found two local guys hanging out on the park bench, checking it out. So we'd like to know what your opinion is of uh, all these cars coming into your town. No, oh, I'm for it. I'm, I've been to every car show since the beginning. It's a fun thing for me to get out, and I get to walk all day around and look at all the, the back parking lots, and the main streets, and drags everything in town is filled up with cars. And that brings back good memories. Yeah. <laughs> what else happens in Somerset? What what else goes on in the town when we're not here? A whole lot of things. This this is going to be the hub of Southern Kentucky, the business hub. With all the cars come drivers and their wallets. This event has been a major economy booster for the Somerset area. Now, if I was, uh, you know, just an innocent bystander, and somebody told me that they were gonna bring 1,700 cars and all the people and everything else to my little town, I might be a little bit nervous. But uh, tell me how it's received here. They were nervous at first, <laughs> but after seven years, they've kind of gotten used to it. And it's such a uh, big boost uh, for tourism and revenue. You know, we figure that we're bringing anywhere between seven and ten million dollars into the local economy every year. So, you know, that's really great, and that's what we're doing it for, is to help our town. And and what I really like about this is the whole town is participating. You got your vendors, you got your participants. We do. We have a lot of support, both from the city and the county governments, our tourist commission. But none of this can be done without their help. Uh, we have a lot of sponsors who step up, local businesses, and you know, that, that they're the ones that keep this event free. Without them, we couldn't do it. Tell me about. You know the requirements. I mean, uh, who do you let in? We uh, sit down early on and uh, in the cruise season and come up with guidelines. Of course, any antique, classic, or muscle car we let in. Uh, as far as late models, we do require, unless it's a factory muscle car, you know, a Vette or Mustang GT or something, that we, we require that it have th at least three external body mods to make it a, a highly modified vehicle. That just keeps the cookie cutter cars out of here and makes it a little more interesting. So tell me, uh, for the people that haven't come here yet. Where can they learn more about this event? Uh, they can go to our website. It's, it's summernightscruise.com. Uh, it's spelled S-O-M-E-R-N-I-T-E-S, cruise.com. And it's got all the details about each monthly event that happens. And uh, uh, they can go in there and check it out. And we've had almost half a million hits on that site. So a lot of people check it out. There's lots of cool cars here at the Summer Nights Cruise, but I dig this truck. Check out the uh, interior of it. It's got the vice grip handle, just like we do in the Galaxy. I really like the um, old gas can, although it's a metal floor. I hope they're not hauling gas in there. And the old tires are pretty worn out, but I like the old cooler too. My favorite parts about the truck are that it's a worn out patina look. The old phone number on the door is pretty cool. They've even got a uh, truck shop manual from 1954 in here. Now, like any good high-performance car show, the Summer Nights Cruise here in Somerset, Kentucky has an area where you've got a lot of uh, vendors displaying high-performance parts, and uh, we saw some of the bigger ones, you know, Holly and the boys and some of the other ones down across the street. But this area kind of really caught my eye because here's what I'm after. Name brand socks. This is outstanding. 
we now have, we've got white with pink toes and heels, and we've got different colors over there. And uh, I'm sure we can find a perfect pair of socks for Nick Scavo right here in the Summer Night's Cruise.